There are two different chest wall defects that I deal with. One's the pectus carinatum, the other's the pectus excavatum. The excavatum is a defect where it's sunken, excavate. The carinatum is a Latin word for pigeon breast, and the, the chest wall comes out like so. The symptoms of this defect are shortness of breath with activity, uh, failure to grow appropriately, uh, sometimes there are GI tracts symptoms that are associated with this for what reason is not clear. Um, and what the real issue is that this is a restrictive defect, both the excavatum and carinatum. It compresses the heart. This defect, both of it, both uh, subcategories, are restrictive of pulmonary function, so the chest can't expand and contract properly. Because once these defects are fixed, the kids can take a deep breath, they can breathe, they can run and play with their peers and they're basically happy, and the parents are happy. There's a significant association with these two chest wall defects in an uh, entity called Marfan syndrome, which is a connective tissue problem, and that problem is associated with valve problems in the aortic root, which is here, and that aortic root, and this is a caricature, this isn't really how it looks, but over time, instead of being, say, this big, can grow bigger and bigger and bigger, and once it gets to five centimeters, it can rupture, and if it happens at home or an activity, like in some sports events, that can be fatal. Basically, what I do is get an echocardiogram on each of these children before surgery as a baseline, not that I'm looking to find anything, and most times I don't. But we get this as a baseline so we can follow, and then you see if there's a change in the size that's excessive of what it should be for the age and, and body size of the child. The follow-up of these kids is really pretty simple. You just look at their chest wall as, as it heals and see how they're doing, and you don't have to act, actually examine the heart or anything else. And they just come see me once a year to get this procedure done for the, the checkup. I do all of, the, all of these procedures uh, at South because they have anesthesiology there that are very familiar with how to handle the younger children. Uh, and they have an intensive care unit where the the doctors who run it are expert in taking care of children on the ventilator. It's a great place over there, and it's just, it's comfortable doing that. And when you start taking care of kids, as all parents know, a sick child can either get real well real fast or even that much sicker in a blink of an eye. So it's good to be where they can be taken care of.